Good morning, Wonderland. As the sun rises behind me, I got up bright and early this morning. On the road at 6 a.m., heading for the mountains. It's my birthday weekend. Thought I would get out and wander, of course. And fall is right on schedule here in the central Virginia area. Uh, yesterday was the first day of fall, and we got our first cool front of the season. So yesterday's high was like 88. Today, I think the high at home is supposed to be about 70 in the mountains, though. It should be cooler than that. It was uh, 55 when I left home this morning. Here, it's about 47. And where is here, you might ask? Check this out. Here is the Barbersville Ruins. There we go. Yeah. Historic ruins uh, designed by Thomas Jefferson, as a matter of fact. Built for the governor of Virginia at the time, 1814. And it burned in a fire on Christmas, uh, 1884. And it was preserved as a ruins since then. So, yeah, pretty cool. Just a little detour on the way to the mountains. So I thought I'd stop, stretch my legs a little bit, uh, and enjoy the sunrise, because uh, the sun was just starting to come up. It's about 7.30ish, I think. Um, yeah, so I thought the ruins and sunrise might make some interesting photos. And hopefully a little bit of good droning, too. I'm going to put the drone up. I didn't see any signs that say I can't, and uh, it's a historic landmark, so hopefully that's okay. So we'll get some photos, we'll get some drone footage, and then we'll hit the road for the mountains, Shenandoah. Should be a good day. <laughs>
first hike of the day at Shenandoah. There were some slow cars ahead of me, so I kind of pulled off the first exit off a of Skyline Drive that I saw, really, <clears throat> which is Lewis Mountain. There's a little trail one mile out and back uh, that goes to the top of Lewis Mountain. So, not that exciting. Apparently, the view from the top, we'll check it out, but uh, apparently, it's not that great. But this trail is nice. It's like a, uh, a road, more or less. Lots of ferns and stuff along the sides. This is supposed to be a good trail. It's right by the campground, so it's supposed to be good for kids, pets, stuff like that. Pretty so far. Let's see what's at the top. Too early for fall color, per se. But these ferns are certainly starting to brown. Maybe a little hint of what's coming as the cool breeze blows through. It's very nice. chilly up here. It was just 42 a minute ago. <laughs> Brisk. I like it. All right. I've arrived at the main attraction of the day, uh, which is the Hawksbill Summit Trail. Hawksbill is the highest peak, highest mountain in Shenandoah National Park. This is a 2.8 mile loop and it sounds really nice. So off we go. Started out on the Appalachian Trail part of this loop. So one side of the loop basically utilizes the uh, Appalachian Trail, which is always fun to walk on. I can say I've hiked part of the AT. Yeah, baby. Ah, and it's not that steep. I'm just out of shape. I recently played through the game Firewatch video game. Enjoyed it quite a bit, but it was not very realistic. So you play as the protagonist, Henry, who doesn't seem like a particularly in shape kind of guy. Goes off to park out west to be a fire watchman for the summer. And he's just running around climbing rocks like it's nothing never even gets out of breath. I'm not buying it. <laughs> it's a good game though. <laughs> okay, this is really nice. I say nice way too much in these videos. This is beautiful, how about that? Very windy, very cold. First time in a long time. I'm actually cold. Glad I brought my jacket. All right. Keep going. Probably a mile or so in at this point. I'm not cold anymore. <laughs> Even though it's pretty shady. Um, these parts, but yeah. Uh, it's really cute. I'm not gonna say it. beautiful, nice, no, not nice. <laughs> That's nice. Uh, yeah, I'm hiking along basically the side of Hawksville on the Appalachian Trail. And uh, yeah, getting there. 
past a couple of people going the other way so far, but otherwise, just me. Probably a mile or so in. I'm not cold anymore. <laughs> I'm not hot either. I just got comfortable, which is how I like it. Huh. I'm glad I brought my jacket, but uh, it's stowed in the backpack probably until I get to the summit. I bet up there it'll be chilly and windy. And I'm hiking basically along the side of Huxville right now, along the Appalachian Trail. I look over there, can't see it through all the trees, but that's basically Hawksbill Mountain over there. Oh, and this is beautiful. See why people like to hike the Appalachian Trail. Alright, onward we go. I think I'm definitely glad I took the loop the way I did. So this way, you hit the summit after about two miles. So it's a little bit more gradual of a climb, I think. And then coming down from the summit over that last 0.8 miles or so, probably a little steeper. So better to go down that way. We'll see, I've never done this trail before, but sounds logical, right? I think I'm on the last stretch before I hit the summit. I think this part's called the Salamander Trail because it's basically a bunch of S-curves kind of wind up to the summit. So, I'll see you when we get there. Here we are, 4,051 feet above sea level, the peak of Hawksbill. Pretty nice view. Kind of neat when the other mountains around are actually below me. <laughs> uh, there was a gentleman up here when I got here. And he set off in that direction, about 80, eh, 75, 90 miles is the uh, Washington DC area. So I guess on a clear day, you might even be able to see the Washington Monument. Uh, probably not. Maybe with a good zoom lens. <laughs> Hopefully you're hearing me. It's pretty breezy up here. So that is Hawksbill. Huh. I'm munchy. So I'm gonna have a little snack. I didn't really have much breakfast. Then lunch is gonna be a bit late. So yeah, munch a little bit, drink a little bit, and then head down. I'm thinking I might do one more trail before I call it a day here, or really need to head to lunch. We'll see. For now, I've accomplished something. <laughs> All right, I'll show you some pictures. And whatnot.
Hopefully you can see that. Out there, there's a group of ravens. What do you call a group of ravens? I'll have to look that up. But they're just riding the updrafts. I swear they're just having fun. <laughs> Does look like a good time. Got some pictures of them riding around. Share some of those. All right. And on that note, I'm cold again. <laughs> it is breezy up here. My hands are cold. I'm heading down the mountain. See if we see anything good on the last stretch. It's definitely right. It's way down. It feels pretty linear. <laughs> Every step is downhill. So I'm having to kind of shuffle it. But we're getting there. I feel good. It's like 12.30. I've been out for a while. See how I feel when I get back to the car. Now my back is hurting a little because I'm getting old. You can tell by the hair. But I like being out. And the weather is glorious. Put my jacket back on, but I'm comfy at the moment. <laughs> oh yeah. Maybe do one more short trail. I want to go back up on top of uh, Stony Man. <clears throat> which is a pretty short summit trail. This last time, the only other time I did that one, it was cold, icy, foggy. It's passing traffic there. So yeah, uh, the other time I did Stony Man, it was so foggy you couldn't see <laughs> 50, 100 feet maybe from the top. So I'm sure it has a view. I just don't know what it looks like. So maybe I'll do that. Or maybe not. <laughs> Stay tuned. Figured I'd go ahead and do the Stony Man Trail. It's only a uh, less than a mile and a half, I think. It's a lariat, so there's a little spur, and then a loop, and then you go back on the spur. But at the top of the loop, it's the top of the mountain. And I do want to see that on a clear day. <laughs> trail definitely looks a lot different than the last time I was here, which was all icy. Now it's very green. Lots of ferns. Pretty lovely. Okay, onward. Alright. Summit number two for the day. See Skyline Drive over there. This is the top of Stony Man. I'm not exactly sure why it's called that. I assume it's the rock shapes or something from a distance, probably tough to see from the top, but uh, it's beautiful up here. You can actually see stuff. <laughs> like I said, last time it was just mist. I couldn't see anything. That little tree line down there, nothing. This is not a bad view. Loving that over there with the rocks and Skyline Drive. That'll be a shot or two. All right. <clears throat> Not too bad a climb to get up here, so I feel good. I'm gonna start heading down. Call it a day from there, I think. I'm gonna leave through the north, uh, the Thornton Gap entrance of Shenandoah, which is not the entrance I came in, so hopefully that doesn't make the drive home. I mean, it should make it shorter because getting back through Skyline Drive is kind of a slow haul. Uh, my eyes are watering, my nose is watering, it's just chilly. <laughs> but it feels good. Okay, good day. Excellent. I don't know if I'll stop anywhere on the way home, get some food maybe. We'll see how it goes. But uh, just in case this is it, let me tell you. Hope you're doing well wherever you are. Like, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff. Don't forget to be awesome and get out and wander.